assalamu alaikum my name is my name is ahmed and today for stepforward.com i'll be teaching you date and time that is available in php language so first of all let's understand that dates in php are represented using the unix timestamp or simply the timestamp uh, let's understand what timestamp is timestamp is basically a calculation or or a representation of date and time in numbers a single number a very long integer uh, an integer type whole numbers but very long in length and it is in seconds from 1st january to uh, 1st january 1970 midnight this these seconds are calculated and till the current time so the time starts from 1st january 1970 but what about those dates which come earlier prior to 1970 well in that case also a integer will be used and in this integer will be in negative other than being in positive we'll just look at the examples and you will understand how it works so um why is it so why this uh, the, uh, this uh, calculation in time stamps or storage in time stamp well that is because it is easy for computers to i can see a spelling mistake over here and uh, it is e easily it is more easy for computers to calculate in seconds or in numbers rather than creating complex types but as for php 5.2 a new date and time class has also been introduced but in this tutorial our concentration will be strictly on time stamps time stamps are not specific to php they are also available in other languages so let's go to our browser window and uh, go to our notepad file and let's demonstrate how to create a simple time stamp so i need to get the current date and time of the system this is the function that i'll use echo and time go to the browser refresh it and this value this value is the value the time in seconds starting from 1st january 1970 midnight so these many seconds have been uh, passed and if i keep refreshing this page you can see that it is basically yep it is working like seconds um, but of course this representation is not easy for me to understand i need to know how many days and how many months so for that we have a format function that is called date and the time will be its second parameter the first parameter will be string formats string formats and for that let's go back to the presentation and these are some of the formats we have for character formats this is the for only for the day part we have d you can see the example over here from 0 to 31st capital d monday to saturday then j 1st to 31st the difference between these two is this has a leading zero and this doesn't l for the complete representation of that day then s for the suffix and for instance second or 22nd st for first 21st etc th for for instance eighth example and uh, w for uh, another uh, numeric representation for the week 0 for sunday and 6 for saturday then we have a day of the year so let's try these quickly so this date function i'll give a value of d only d come over here refresh it today is 17th you can check over here today is 17th february 2011 so d capital d will give me friday l will give me complete friday word z will give me the day the number uh, the number of day the number of days in this year past the current day so january is of 31 days and february is 34 17 so according to that calculation it should have been 48 why is it so because this counting starts from zero as mentioned in this slide okay so now let's go back and uh, use that s suffix with uh, j or less yeah j j is without leading zeros so 17th so that is good good enough go back to the, go to the next slide we have weeks this is the week how many week have uh, this, which is the the, uh, the current weeks number for this year for instance we can go over here user capital w 
and refresh here so this is the seventh week of the year current year then these are four months F for full month M M N N T the number of days in this month let's go back month will give me a short form for this month capital L F will give me the full representation for this month small m will give me a numeric representation n will give me without leading representation and uh, for the total number of years we can use t and uh, this month has 29 days so moving forward we have the year l is for the leap year y capital y for full representation small y for just the two digit representation let's try this out also um, so we have capital L for the leap year and it is 1 because this year is a leap year 2012 then we have capital Y and we have capital small y for two digit representation for so let's uh, complete this thing and uh, let's give it like this 17 February 2012 okay now we also have a time part and for time part these are our representations AM PM, G, G, you can understand how it works. I'll just demonstrate the basic one. So I need to represent time, hours, then minutes, and then seconds. And also the AM, PM part. This is for the capital one. Let's go over here, refresh it, and this is how it works. So good. So this was for the formatting. What about I need to create a different date? I need to work on uh, date uh, as custom date so mk time and uh, mk time it takes uh, the first parameter is hours let's skip the hours the second is the minutes and the third is the seconds skip all of them so it will take zero as a default now for the month let's give it a value of third third is march and uh, 17th march and how about 17 march 2002 okay save it refresh it so you can see the time let's give it uh, for instance I can give it a value of 13 so it is 1 p.m. in the afternoon let's give it a value of 45 and seconds of just the four, just four seconds so this is how any date can be constructed there is another another very extremely useful method and that is string to time and how it works for instance I give it a value of now extremely extremely flexible now this is giving me the current date and time okay um, not now how about one day after today so this is telling me 18th February 2012 8 43 57 p.m. okay how about one month from now see the date okay how about 11 months from now how about 189 months from now wow okay similarly we can give it a negative value also it is 1996 we can also give it a value of years and uh, 189 minus one there is something wrong over here 1 year yeah I think that uh, there is a limit of range what about 100 years it is working ok what about 150 years no ok this I think there is a maximum limit of something anyway um, so this is not it uh, we can also use last Monday when was the last Monday it was on 13th February ok what about uh, next Monday it is 20th February 2012 and uh, f for this right now we are constructing the date with respect to the current time but let's make a date over here mk time and uh, just nothing 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 this date 5 2001 ok now uh, let's use this as a reference over here next Monday I gave it a value of 
5th, 5th October 2001. So I'm saying when is the next Monday from 5th October 2001? And it is telling me that it is on 8th. Okay, uh, let me say that, okay, how about uh, one week after this time? So it is 12th. From 5th, we can add one week and it is 12th. Okay, how about 50 weeks from that time? So you can see that it is quite amazing, quite, quite amazing. So this is how we can construct date, time and create date, time. We also have a function that can be used to validate a date. Check, sorry, check underscore date. And this function will do is it will return a boolean. I'm not going to create a, an integer uh, of, of an if construct. I'm just going to give um, two date values. Date, uh, check date. So check date for the first parameter for check date is basically month uh, month is for instance I give it a value of 18 of course this is going to give me an error I am, as a date I can give 1 and as a year I can give uh, 2000 save it refresh it undefined function check date now what's wrong with the value sorry there is no underscore in between and uh, let's give it So false. This is not possible. This is not a valid date. Okay. How about 8th, 1st of August 2001? Yes, this is true. So we can also have a way of validating dates. Now we can also compare two different dates and I don't need to explain to you how that will work because uh, I don't have to show it to you because simply these are numbers and numbers can be compared, easily compared. And uh, we can also use this part, for instance, let's create two dates this is one date and this is the second date now let's display these two dates d1 and d2 come over here refresh it these two dates but these are not formatted correctly formatted so I need to format them and uh, for formatting I can say D month Y H I N S and similarly you can copy it over here paste it here save it refresh it so these are the two dates we have these two dates so let's get it give it a value of very close one um, or instead let's simply okay um, so we need one day from here onwards this is 6 7, 18 and this is 17 now let's subtract these two values and see what answer we will get so what I'm going to do is D 1 uh, D1 minus D2 something wrong with my typing save it refresh it this is giving me a value in numbers now I need to know how many days hours or whatever so let's find out how many hours these were so we can simply make a calculation this is second so how many seconds in a minute it is 60 how many minutes in an hour 60 so let's save it, refresh it, it is telling me there that it is 24 hours. So really nice. So you can, uh, you can uh, I think you get the idea that we can make very good calculations from it. And uh, this is a very powerful way of working with date and time in PHP. So up till, uh, till the next class, Allah Hafiz.